our glasses, we will need about 7 million just for the glasses. And then, of course, there is another profile that we will need about 3.7 million. And then, of course, we need the granite. And it's having a lot of millions. But money comet, am I talking here? Come on, put your hands together. I say money comet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, um, I'm not going to, you know, um, hold you because uh, we have um, a communion service uh, today. And, of course, um, is the last communion in the year 2022. Uh, the next one, we're going to uh, take it in the year 2023, which is a Sunday of the first, you know, and um, I want you to raise your expectation. I don't know who walked into this place. I don't know where you are, who you are. You know, maybe you've been having challenges. I don't know whether it's the knee or the bones at the joint, you know. Um, you know, I, I don't know who, who that person is, but strength is coming into that place and healing. God is touching that you know, and, and strength is coming to, to those, um, you know, sometimes it's, you know, when I came in trying to, I couldn't, I uh, wanted to praise God. I was feeling it. So I knew, and God told me to tell you, you know, that healing is coming into that place. Healing is coming into that place. <laughs> hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. You know, because now I can feel all my, my strength back. All right, well, um, we've been doing a work, um, 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 you know, when I came in, my, my sound, my mixing was okay. And um, if you've been, you know, there's nothing I can do um, to you um, as your father if you don't um, come in for, for, um, for my teachings, you know, and a lot of things might not be able to show forth, you know, in your life. Uh, if you are deficient in some of these uh, teachings, you know, we've been doing, how many of us have been blessed with uh, kingdom emotion? Can we just wave your hand? You know, kingdom emotion. Ki kingdom emotion, you know, had been, a, huh, 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 had been a series that we picked. You know, of course, I'm going to continue with the series and right into, because, of course, when the loss of the spirit is the coming of Jesus, you know, and everything about Christmas is actually about the the invasion or the coming, you know, of the of the kingdom. All right, you know, but we are trying to establish some certain things and position our mind. Now, one of the things that uh, God had so strongly uh, told me, you know, is that the reason why, the reason why, you know, there had been struggle. And problems in the church is because the foundational truth concerning the kingdom you know has not been taught or learned all right other things have been taught and of course you can pick up any other thing and run with it all right and then you will just the only thing is that you might not be able to maximize you know your stay here on earth you know and operate in the intent and the intentions of God all right, and, and so and in Kingdom in Motion, I'm going to do it. Um, the next year also, I'm going to do it. And um, I'm trusting God that uh, Danielle also will come during Changing Your World. And uh, we just keep, you know, hitting in on the kingdom. You know, once the understanding of the kingdom comes, then a lot of things are just going to fall off. You know, but the coming of the kingdom is the understanding of the kingdom. Once you understand it, then the kingdom you have entered, then the kingdom, you know, has arrived. However, you can do religion, and religion is what you do uh, before the kingdom arrives. Now, we've been trying to um, establish an, uh, a fact, and on Wednesday, uh, I was allowing us to see the intentions you know and the mind of god and of course i said that god and somebody just just trying my voice god um god what god just take me back to where i was when i came up that's all all right you know, God had something in his mind when he was creating man. 
And of course, you know, in the mind of God is rulership. You know, God is a king. You know, there is a nation or a country called heaven. He's a creator of the heavens and also the earth. All right, so by right, the earth is his. Why did he create the earth? All right, he created the earth so that his nature, his glory will be extended to a new colony. Later also, I'm going to show you, you know, because you are his offspring. You know, whenever a king has a son, the son is also a king. And there is a rulership in the inside of the son. And what the king will do, because the only way that the son will king over a domain is when the king dies. And if the king doesn't die, what the king does is that the king creates another territory and then send the son to exercise his kingship and his rulership. However, you have to understand something about God. God had an intent intentions, you know, to see that the earth and the covers by the glory of God. So we see the mind of God in the prayer of Jesus. Whenever you are praying, pray that in every part of the earth, the kingdom of God will be seen. All right, what is kingdom? Kingdom is the governing influence of a king over a region or a territory, impacting that region or the territory with the king's will, emotions, um, values, character, you know, so that the territory is reflecting the same place that the king is dwelling. All right, so God's intention is for the kingdom of God to be in every part of the earth so that every part of the earth will express the intentions, the will, and the purposes of God. And of course, we know that the character of God is love, goodness, long-suffering. The reason why every part of the world is in chaos is because the kingdom has not yet invaded of course you know that creation is groaning because it was taken captive not by their own volition it was snatched but the creation will be saved but the only way that the creation will be saved is when the right people are in the place and in the position to be able to start bringing in come on put your hand you know you know together all right so because that is the mind of god you know god went into work and he said, that, well, I'm going to make a humanity. There is a species that I'm going to create, you know, and they are going to be made in my demut and then in my salem. What that means is that they're going to have my values. They're going to have my character. They're going to have my being. They're going to make in my likeness and then also in my image. Now, don't forget that the creation of the man, which is a spirit, is different from the making of the body. And so when man was created, we don't know how long it took for him to acclimatize with the motherland before God, you know, created or prepared the place of rulership. Okay, so when the earth was created, the earth was solidly created for the sons or the offsprings, you know, of God. Now on Wednesday, I said that God came to the earth, you know, and then formed the body. You know, because the man that he created is spirit, but the place or the colony that he's going to king over is physical. So the man needs an art suit. So when the body was lying down there, the man that was created was inside, but the man was unliving, not dead. Because before that time, there is nothing called death. All right, so God now came and then breathed inside the nostril, you know, of the man. All right, when he breathed in there, the spirit that is inside that body 
became alive but not only is the spirit alive this another life that also shot forth all right the soul was activated and then the body was also activated am i talking here okay but you have to understand something you know concerning the composition of the body you know god made the body with the intention of him to habit or indwell in that body all right so when he was making the body he checked the capacity of the body for the body to be able to house in and take in the governor which is the holy spirit you know when it comes to colonization look at your neighbor and say neighbor i'm a carrier of god oh now say it with energy say neighbor I'm a carrier of God. Please, I'll encourage you to go and listen to uh, Wednesday. Now, you have to understand that human beings were created for the sole reason to express the nature of God. I'm going to say it again. Human beings are created for the sole reason to express the nature of God. All right, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. You are created to express the nature of God. All right, now that sounds like a statement that uh, is so simple. But you see, if you understand that statement, you're going to be shouting. All right, you know, you are created now. You have to understand we were created by God to live from the inside out. We are to express what God is like naturally. Let me come again. You know, Okay, we'll, we'll repeat that statement. Human being is created to express the nature of God. Say it out. All right, okay, now look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, you are created to express the nature of God. All right, okay. Now you have to understand something about God. God is 100% spiritual. God is supernatural. God is 100% spiritual. All right. So he now created us. We are spirit. But he now made us an art suit and created a natural world. All right. And he wants us to express naturally what he is spiritually. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Now I'll, I'll, I'll come again. I'll come again. Okay. Okay. He created us. We are spirit. The reason why we are spirit is because we can be able to pick up the nature and the character of God. That's why we were created in the image of God. But why did he make us um, an earth suit and then created a natural world? Because God wants the extension of his character in the earth. All right. The only people that can express the nature of his character in the earth are us. So he created us spirit, but with the intention to express in the natural world what he is spiritually. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Okay, so what that means is that we actually, we are supposed to live supernaturally, naturally. Let me come again. We are supposed to live supernaturally, naturally. All right, it is actually a big of a misnomer and a confusion when you see a human being, all right, going into all kinds of hoopla and frenzy, and you say that he is actually operating or expressing the supernatural or the spirit of God. No, you see, if it is uh, 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 that way, then God might not actually be in the position to allow you you know god wants you as you're expressing the supernatural he wants you to express it naturally that is why when jesus christ was doing everything that he was doing supernatural naturally he was not excited there was no place that jesus was excited when he was showing the character or the nature of god naturally though the nature of god is supernaturally am i talking here i say am i talking here he was lying down in the boat the boat was getting ready to capsize he just woke up cleaned the ah and then spoke to the wind and then he rebuked the storm all right he did two things he spoke to the wind all right because whenever there is a wind of doctrine you have to speak to it and bring correction 
When you speak to the wind or the thing that is making you behave the way you are behaving, then you rebuke the problem. Am I talking here? Come and put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, okay. Why? Because the problem is not actually the problem. The problem is that the wind or what you have believed is creating what you are seeing. Or am I talking here? If you are able to understand it properly, then the way you see it will be different. Okay, so I am created by God to express the nature of God. So I am supposed to live supernaturally, naturally. All right. I'm going to help somebody here. You know, my sound is not actually, you know, you know, you know, the way I want it. All right. Everything that is supernatural must not necessarily be spectacular. It doesn't have to be spectacular to be supernatural. While we all want healing, every healing is supernatural. Every healing is supernatural. But sometimes you can have a supernatural that is expressed naturally. And that's why he made me and I have a natural body so that naturally I can express the supernatural. Let me, let me help somebody. The reason why I should be able to do that is because humanity is the offspring of God. You hail from God. And in the law of creation, anything and everything gives birth to its kind. A monkey will always give birth to a monkey. And that's why if you believe that you're a baboon, then... A baboon will give birth to a baboon. A human will give birth to a human. A man will give birth, okay? Okay. A dog will give birth to a dog. A demon will give birth to a demon. God will give birth to God. So when God was making us, he made us in his likeness. All right. So Jesus Christ is not the only son of God. Let me explain to you. Jesus Christ is the only begotten son of God. But he is not the only son of God. Give me Luke chapter 3. Give me Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3 and verse, verse 38. The son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. So we see here that there are people that God has made and they are his sons. Now, there is a son of man. There is a son of God. The difference is actually in this two lineage of Seth and Cain. When you take this lineage of said sons of men, uh, that's why, and then Jesus looked at them and said, that, you are of your father, the devil. There's also the son of the devil. All right, so there are, there are sons of men, okay, in the lineage of Cain now, this is what actually happened. Cain killed his brother Abel. Whenever an evil shows forth and it is not corrected. It will just escalate and keep growing. 
There is a principle in physics that is called the principle of momentum. Anything, and then there, there are also laws of motion. Anything that is moving in a straight line will continue in that line if it is not being impeded by an external force. That's why you can't look at your children that are messing up and you say that three are running, that's change in Sungirma. No, they will not. Why? Because the principle is that when you leave anything, it will only pick up momentum. That's why he was snake in the garden, but in Revelation, he is a dragon. That's why some of your attitude and your lifestyle, if it is not being rebuked, that's why most often sometimes when I see something wrong, you have to rebuke it immediately. Why? Because if you leave it, it will grow. Why? Because anytime you see order, force is exerted into chaos. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. Come and put your hands together. I said, come and put your hands together. I said, come and put your hands together. I said, come and put your hands together. All right. So when Cain killed Abel, and it wasn't corrected and handled, his next son killed another man. And hell continued. Why? Because anything left to itself will kill, will just keep growing. All right. So, but when Seth was giving birth to, Seth knowingly, logically turned to God. All right. And so when that's the Bible said that, and then people started calling on the, on God. So God now started dividing on earth types of people. There are types of people that are sons of men. People that are sons of men are sensual, carnal people. And you can be in church and still not be operating in the sons of God cadre. Because sons of God are people that operate supernaturally, naturally. Why? The gene of God is flowing in them. They are not being carried away or controlled by the circumstances. They are controlled of their, by their nature. And in the inside of them, they express the power of God naturally. Oh, come on, put your hands together if you understand. I said, come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. They take deadly things. Sons of men, when they take deadly things, they will die. Sons of God, when they take deadly things, you will look at them all, expecting them to die, but they will not die. Paul was on the Isle of Patmos. He's a son of God. He was beaten by a snake. Whenever sons of men are beaten by a snake, the venom kills them. Not sons of God. Because sons of God live from the inside out. There is a power in the inside that destroys anything that touches them. Am I talking here? And they are conscious of what they have. And so they express God supernaturally but in a natural way. All right. You didn't see Paul saying that every venom, every poison, die, die. No, you didn't see it. He just pack. You know, shook it into the fire and he continued living. Why? Because it doesn't have to be spectacular to be supernatural. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. It doesn't have to be spectacular. So the sons of men were looking at him. And when he did not die, look at what they said. That the gods... What they are trying to say that sons of God have arrived. Am I talking here? Let me announce to you that your neighborhood is waiting for the kingdom to arrive. Your neighborhood is waiting for the son of God to arrive. Sons of God, can you arise? Come and put your hands together. I said, come and put your hands together. Sons of God, they leave the supernatural naturally. Somebody is. Let me prove to you again. To as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are. Come on, talk to me. Sons of God. Job said that the sons of God came to worship and said, Sons. So there are, there are people. Am I talking? Am I talking in house of refuge? I said, Am I talking in house of refuge? These sons of God are the people. In the mind of God to colonize the earth. Because sons of God are kingdom people. They are the kings. They have a nature of God. And so they are supposed to express the nature of God on earth. 
they're supposed to colonize the earth. So they're supposed to have dominion. Adam is the offspring, you know, of God. Put your hand on your head and say, I'm a, an offspring of God. Come on, say it with energy. Say, I'm an offspring of God. Come on, say it like you believe it. Say, I am an offspring of God. So I'm going to help you later as I build it up. I have 31 minutes. These sons are the ones that God said that they are going to have dominion. The earth was to be colonized by all the members of the human race. By the sons of God. To have dominion means to rule, to control, to manage, to lead, to affect, and to impact. Let me say it again. To have dominion. And the word dominion there might confuse you because... There are all kinds of people running about kingdom, you know, you know, dominion mandate, dominion mandate. We see, you see, when you just mention dominion and you don't understand that dominion is actually a derivative, then you're going to miss it. God wants you to have kingdom. The word kingdom, that's why we just mentioned dominion. Kingdom. So to have kingdom means to rule, to control, to manage, to lead. To affect and to impact. Every person looking at me that is born again, every human, are essentially spiritual beings. They live in a physical body, you know, to carry out the governing responsibility here on earth. It is called, that's what we call the dominion mandate. All right. The dominion mandate is that there is an intention in the mind of God. That's why he created me. That's why he gave me an earth suit. So that I can bring his kingdom. What is kingdom? The governing influence of a king over a region. Impacting that region with his will, intention, and his purpose. So that the place is looking exactly like the motherland. That's why you are a military. That's why you are a police. That's why you are in that place of work. So that you can bring kingdom. Am I talking in house of refuge? So that you can bring the governing influence of a king. Am I talking here? You cannot be in an office and then there is corruption. Why? Because it's not the character of God. You cannot be... Am I talking in house of refuge? Your marriage and your homes cannot be but only that shows the nature of God. That's why you cannot be a husband slapping your wife. Why? It's not the nature of God. Whenever you have a son of God that gets married, if you enter the house, you're going to meet kingdom in the house. What is kingdom? The governing influence of God in that house, impacting that house with his nature, with his will, and with his purpose. Am I talking here? So that the house is looking exactly Oh, come on, put your hands together if you so that it's manifest in the culture, the lifestyle, and the quality of the people. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. The problem is that you have been sons of men and not sons of God. Sons of God. You have to be intentionally conscious of what you carry. You were, but now. Okay. President said that. Beloved. It does not yet appear what we shall be. He said, he said, beloved, look at me. He said, now. Somebody say now. Somebody say now. Not when you go to heaven. He said, now are you the sons of God? Let me say it again. Somebody say now. Come on, somebody say now. You see, some of you are expecting that only when later you're going to know. Now, now. Because immediately you enter into the kingdom, a new nature enters you. It does not yet appear. It does not yet appear. The word appear is apparent. All right, so now you might be struggling because something new has entered you, but don't give up and give in to the old nature. 
keep staying. Why? Because when he appear, we shall see him like he is, and we shall become like him. Now, some of you are thinking that when he shall appear, you're thinking he's talking about the, the end time. No, that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about the word appear apparent. He's talking about understanding and light. So when you, now you are the son of God, but it is, it's not showing. You see, when I, when I gave birth, you know, and they brought my baby, it's not looking like a human being. Right? Then I look at him and he, but everything about my future is in the baby. But at that time, it did not yet appear what the baby is. So, but when the baby keep growing, it will show forth and it will look. And anybody that looked and said that that is Pastor Bia's son. Are you getting what I'm talking about? I said, again, what I'm talking about. Okay, it's the same thing. So when you keep understanding, that's why you have supposed to be in church every day. That's why you're hearing this word. When you're hearing the word and understanding and understanding, it will appear and it will show forth what. And that is why everything that is supposed to be in God will start showing forth in your life. Why? Because the kingdom has already come. Come on, put your hands together if you understand. I said, come on, put your hands together if you understand. I said, come on, put your hands together if you understand. But even now, 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 you are the son of God. And that is why you're supposed to live supernaturally, naturally. Let me say it again. You're supposed to live supernaturally. Let me say it again. You're supposed to live supernaturally. In fact, that is one of the things that God is telling me that I should train and inform every member of House of Refuge going forward in this life. You're supposed to be a wonder to people. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. So when God said, let them, God said that, I want you to influence the earth on the behalf of the country called heaven. I want you to influence. I want you to bring the kingdom. Jesus said that, thy kingdom come on earth. Anywhere on earth, let kingdom come. So humanity's job is actually to execute heaven's policies legislations and oversight on the earth let me say it again humanities your job is to execute heaven's policies legislations and oversight on the earth now problem do you know the legislations of heaven do you know the policies of heaven? The legislations and the policies of heaven are in the constitutions that is given to you. It's in the word of God. And if you don't understand and know the word of God, there's no way you can. And for your information, listen to me. No man living on earth can express the nature of God unless he becomes born again. That's why there is no government that is perfect all over the world except it's coming from the kingdom of God. No man has the capacity to express the nature of God unless he has the, 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 the image of God. So the policies, so when you, are, when you are born again, you are there to, the legislations. And you're supposed to live supernaturally, naturally. That's why lack is not part of you. Abundance is part of you. So when you come to a place where there is lack, section Philippians, section 4, article 19, my God shall supply all of my needs. You know, you bring in that legislation and that policy on earth. So the other people are seeing you, but they're seeing you having a supply 
in the in front of you're living the supernatural life naturally. That's all. Jesus Christ, give them food to eat. How? What do you have? He collected it. He started multiplying. He was living the supernatural life naturally in their presence. And when you begin to bring the policies of God, you're bringing, you're now, you're not bringing the influence. So if you're going to cultivate the life of heavenly kingdom, manage the earth, earth's natural resources, rule over the animals, and govern wisely and just, and keep everything in order, you must have the spirit of God. So when he made man, he took his spirit and he put it. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you have the spirit of God. Come on, say it with energy. Say, neighbor, you have the spirit of God. Okay. Now, the reason why you have the spirit of God, because you are supposed to... Ex okay. So the spirit, nobody knows the mind of God except the spirit of God. Give me First Corinthians. First Corinthians 2, 11. So if the colony is going to be transformed, it will only be transformed by the governor, which is the spirit of God. But you see, the spirit of God is not outside. On Wednesday, I said that God doesn't live in any kind of house. So you know, don't you know that you are the temple? So the spirit of God is living in the inside of you. So because the spirit of God is living in the inside of you, the spirit begins to tell you the, the mind and the intention of God. Tell who you who is you? You, spirit. Listen to me. The intent of God is for the un unseen to reel the seen from the unseen through the unseen that is on the scene. Somebody is confused. I, I mentioned it also. Okay, so for who among you knows the thought of a man except the spirit of that man that is within the man? In also the same way Nobody will ever know the thoughts of God. The only person that will know the thoughts of God is the spirit of God. So God has a thought and an intention to colonize the earth. But the earth is going to be colonized by a man. Okay. But the man, the only way he's going to colonize, he has to know the thoughts and the intentions of God. But the only thing that knows the thoughts and the intentions of God is the spirit of God. So God now came to the man and carried his spirit and put it inside man. When he put the spirit inside man, the spirit that is inside man talks to the spirit of man that is inside. Okay, so God, the unseen, wants to rule the sin through the unseen spirit that is inside the sin that is on the sin, the earth. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. Let, I said, come on, put your hands together. Now look at me, look at me. All of you, as you are walking, people are seeing you, but they never know that an unseen is commanding the unseen inside that is changing the scene that is on the outside. Come on, somebody began what I'm talking about. Let's say somebody began. Now, you are among the most miserable if you think that you are just the way you are. You are not ordinary. You are not just the way you are. You, there is an agenda of heaven so that the earth will be confused. Why? An unseen God wants to rule the seen earth through the unseen that is inside the scene on the sea. So as he is walking, the thoughts and the intentions of God is spoken in his spirit. His spirit holds his soul and his mind. When the soul and the mind is trained, the body is taken captive to begin to show forth the life and the nature of God. That's why listen to me. No woman here is supposed to marry a man. That doesn't have the indwelling spirit of God. Oh no, somebody began when they came for that one. Because no man has the ability to show forth the nature and the character of God unless he has the spirit of God in the inside. 
No, somebody be Ghanaian. Same thing. Don't marry any woman. She might be beautiful, but what's the content in the container? Come on, put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. He might have the money, but there is a devil inside. You see, if there is no God inside, you don't expect the character of God to be shown in your life. Because God wants kingdom to come into your house. What is kingdom? The governing influence of a king on sin, on the territory. But the only way he can govern, he has to have his spirit inside a man. Come on, put your hands together. If the spirit is not inside the man, this man, instead of him to live from inside out, he's going to be living from outside in. So when he sees you, on the outside, it now shakes his mind and anger rises up and he beats you. But when he's living on the inside out, you can do anything and he wants to be angry. The nature of God is that it suffers long. It's long suffering. It's patience. It's kindness. It's love. You know, hear what I'm talking about. So him on the outside, there is nothing that he can express except what is in him. And he has capacity to do that because when God was creating him, he created him with the capacity to express the nature of God so that the kingdom of God will come into the place. Come on, put your hands. I said, come on, put your hands together. You can see that. I said, come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. They change her. No. Leave him to become born again before you bring him. That a changer. Leave she might be beautiful with hips, lips, and fingertips, but check the content. That a Rikita. The father of the green stuff that they are. It's a yeah boy. I can have you. I want to do that. Come on, put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. I said, Come on, put your hands together. I said, Come on, put. no human being that doesn't have the spirit of God has a capacity to love you. Oh no, I'm saying something here. I say, I'm saying something here. I say, I'm saying something here. I say, I'm saying something here. You are not a religious person. You are a son of God released on earth to colonize the earth with the nature and the culture of heaven. That's why you are here. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Where? On earth. How? As it is in heaven. And the only way that can happen unless you have the spirit of God so that he can tell you the wind. And other people are like, looking at you. They never know that you're hearing something. You're hearing something from the unseen. Though you're on the scene, you begin to rule the scene. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. That's why everybody is afraid and is crying. You're quiet. Nezabaka you. The king has whispered to the spirit, the will concerning the situation. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. <laughs> and the spirit in the inside told your spirit. And your spirit told your mind, held your will and your emotions, and your mind wanted to shout. The soul said, okay, can you stand still? And then the power that brought that execution from the inside comes out and silenced the mouth of the devil. Because you are supposed to live from the inside out. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. You went to a doctor. We have bad news. Munga test. Yavito. Got statistic. Anybody with this, die. Anybody with this, die. But there is also a spirit in the inside of you. That is connected to a spirit. That is connected to God. And so God spoke. Himself took away my infirmities and carried my, my diseases. 
You're not hearing what I'm talking about. I said, come on, put your hands together. And the, ah! So the spirit of God tells your spirit, you are healed. And your spirit tells your mind, relax, have understanding. Listen to me. Everything of God is not supposed to be studied first. It's supposed to be experienced first. Then you study it. Your problem is what you have read. And what you have read will destroy you. Science should never be above God. Listen to me. God is spirit. If he's spirit, it means he can never be ruled by anything that he has created. Oh no, somebody began him and they came out of Somebody began him and they came out of Whenever what God creates controls God, then that thing is now God. Anything that God created can never control him. Why? Because he's spirit. All right. All right. All right. I know you say, Ah, God. That's our principle. Even God will not break his law. You see, that's good preaching, but it's not true. God, now look at me. Everybody that is here that wants a miracle, miracle is nothing but breaking rules. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. So this is what God did. He made the physical, including the devil, to be under a rule. Including yourself. However, he made himself not to be in the rule. So that you will have advantage against the devil. So when the devil is wanting to play fair, God that is in the unseen, that is inside you, will break the rule on your behalf. So that you can begin to walk. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. And the devil said, that, foul play, foul play. God said, that, I created the rules and I can come over the rules. Come on, put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. I said, come on, put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. So the devil gave you a sickness. And based on the rules, you're supposed to die. God in the inside of you said that we're changing the rules. Himself took away my infirmities and carried my diseases. Rise up, take your bed and walk. You know, hear what I'm talking about. I say, how, how many of you want a God that can break rules? I don't know who I'm talking to. In 2023, and before the year runs out, rules are going to be broken. Policies and rules will be changed on your behalf. A turn around in your life in the name of Jesus. You want God to break the rules. You want him to break the rules and come walking on water. Come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. That is why you are useless. If you are not in connection with that spirit. You're going to be among men most miserable. You're going to be controlled under the winds and the winds of life. Why? Because every now and then you want the rules to be broken. And you need it to be broken by a rule breaker. But guess what? The rule breaker is not on the outside. The rule breaker is in the inside. Come on, put your hands together. I said, 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 come on, put your hands together. Rules are going to be broken. Policies are going to be changed. Yeah! Somebody from the back is about to go to the front. You said, ah, you should go. Gia never be right. God said, no, Baruana, I'm changing the rules. Why? I created the rules and I can write on top of the rules. As long as the earth remains, seed time, harvest, that's for the earth. Not for me. Why? Because every now and then I want God to change the seasons on my behalf. Hallelujah. And if I want him to change the season on my behalf, I can be in the earth that is bounded by the rule of seed time and harvest. 
but I have a God who is a rule breaker and he will give you a baby at 90. And whatsoever you touch begins to prosper. That is why what happened to them is not necessarily supposed to happen to you. That's why what is flowing in the blood of your family is not necessary that it has to flow in the blood of you. Why? Because the are womb say, when you have a chicky, the devil is a liar. Come and put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. I said, come and put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. I said, come and put your hands together if you understand. I said, come and put your hands together if you understand what I'm talking about. Some things can be happening in the family. But you have exemption. Why? Because the rule breaker is in the inside of you. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. And it is based on that rule breaker that you begin to live supernaturally, naturally. It's normal life for you. Miracles is a normal life for you. Favor is a normal life for you. Power is a normal life for you. Rising is a normal life for you. You don't have to work it, no. You see, the problem with people, if you think that the supernatural is when you're eating Abu, then it means you're trying to tell us that you have to do some things to enter. No. The supernatural, you can, on your purpose, create it, activate it, open it, and enter it. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I will teach more on this on the 31st. He made you that way so that you can colonize, so that you can bring his character, his nature, and his power anywhere on earth. So that anywhere you arrive, you can bring his kingdom and his will down. Hallelujah. So you walk in. Okay, make it up. Okay. You just touch. You see, Jesus Christ entered Peter, Simon Peter's house with Luke. Then the wife of Simon Peter was struggling with fever. And Peter said, ah, Luca, Luke, can you have a doctor? You see, education is your worst problem. Jesus Christ did like this. He just touched her. And boom, she stood up. Now somebody said, that's God. No, Jesus Christ came in to show you exactly what you can do. I said, come on, put your hands together. So you have read Plasmodium. There is Minnesota and Nicholas, the mosquito, Minnesota mosquito, and the follows. Who can show you? You're not carrying one yabu, and I'm not tapajinka, you're mixing. No. The same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwell in the inside of me. And if that same spirit is in the inside of me, that spirit will give life to my mortal body. So, in mosquito achijeni, it's not a fact that there's a malaria. That's what book says. But there's a spirit in the inside of my spirit said that anything that is deadly that touch me dies. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. You're not hearing what I'm talking about. So sons of men will now take kai, 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 kai. mosquito at Jesus who say sunje kawye mosquito at Jesus who say she has where they are changing ah mura yana zua chuo chuo anza anzo seasons na chuo that's sons of men they are subject to seasons but we need a God that can change seasons and times. You know, hear it? And look at it. Look at it. You that you are giving power over the earth, now you are giving power to the forces of the enemy over your life and your house. And I look at that. expecting. You are sick. Anywhere you are, you're there to bring to bear the nature of God. So that what is happening to them should not happen to you. Your problem is your book. 
and I don't have problem with intellect. I'm talking to you, I'm very, very in intellectual. I have two degrees. I read physics. By history, by you queer, queer subject, I read physics. Do you know Schrodinger equation? I had some quantum mechanics. I had an award in quantum physics. You have to have demons to operate in there. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? But anywhere intellect, yes, they have the magana ubangiji. Intellect goes down. Why? Because I need a God that can change the rules and come walking on top of water. I was in Abuja. Somebody said, that, how confusing that you're a scientist. How are you believing in God? Most scientists, with what they know, they drill. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. My time is up. Somebody, under the sound of my voice, is going to go to his neighborhood and the kingdom will arrive. They are looking at you with your black face and your dogon care. They never know that the same spirit of God is inside of you. And you are about to change the sin from the unseen that is living on the sin. Somebody, Agani, come on, put your hands together. I said, come on, put your hands together. Your family are confused. The problem is that you are not, you are not, you are. Commander one neighbor, one neighbor. Could just same kaswa, could that same kaya, could that no? There's something in the inside of me, and I have connection with the headquarters. And I'm not here for religious sake, I'm here to colonize the earth to bring the character of God into surface. And everything that is wrong, I bring right. You are not the same. Because when you are weak, then you shall say that I am strong. Why? Because as they are looking at you, that's how Zachary did that. Why? Because there is a power that is working in you, but to will and to do of his own good pleasure. You are not ordinary. You are not normal. You are an offspring of God. You are a carrier of the supernatural that is supposed to be released naturally. Natural way of living. Supernaturally. But we are power. No. I live the supernatural life naturally. I express spirit in the natural way. Come on, put your hands together if you understand. I said, come on, put your hands together. There are things on the earth and the heavenlies, they come together. I just know them. I know I can do something on earth, it activates heaven. I just know them. I know that sons are giving keys. I just know it. Hallelujah. You're going to walk in the reality of who you are. You're going to walk in power. You're going to walk in miracles. You're going to walk in power in the name of Jesus. From today, from today, I bring to an end to ordinary leanness in your life in the name of Jesus. Ordinary living is destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Living the supernatural naturally forever. And that's your heritage. So you don't complain. Oh, don't complain. You know, my God shall supply my needs according to his riches. By Christ Jesus. We, are, we don't have a pack of worry, of complaint. There's no worry in the garden. There's no complaint in the garden. There's abundant supply in the garden. No lack in this house in the name of Jesus. We bring poverty to an end in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I'm going to, I'm going to continue this on Wednesday. We're going to partake on the, on the table of blessing. One of the few things that God has allowed us to do.